And with that, welcome to the world of Code Vein. Uh, uh, you can get different partners. Uh, different ones will figure different styles. So, Lewis is all about melee combat. He's also got a little bit of dark gifts. He's fast. He's an all... He's a... Pretty much... She's a... Yeah. He's an all-rounder. Yakumo is a tank. He is really heavy, but he also has very low Iker stocks and pretty much will only heal you once or twice. The Mia White version is kind of meh. She's not really anything spectacular and really is only good for early game. It She really falls off around, I would say, after the... Around the turning point boss, I'd say. We'll get... So it's two bosses in from where we are. Actually, three if you go an optional path. So there are friendly revenants who will be around the world. Oh, you're exploring this area too? I'm a merchant of sorts. Wander around selling valuables as I explore. The miasma has gotten pretty thin here lately, eh? I thought it might be dangerous, but I came all the same. I haven't seen a fellow explorer for a while, though. I think we were fated to meet. Take this map of the depths. I'll be around here for a while. If you want to buy anything, let me know. So this is a special merchant. Um, so instead of just selling... Well, how I'll say this. So instead of selling stuff, normally a merchant will require you to pay them in haze. You have any materials from the yep. old world? I can give you valuable yeah, he'll sell you these valuable items in turn, uh, in replace it for old world materials. You could give these to your party members. Some They all have different likes and dislikes. Read the character to understand. And you will be able to get points. You get enough, you can get things like um, special, special healing items, some special metals to transform your weapons, or if they are a companion who could travel with you, you could get their weapon. I suggest saving up 50 for Lewis and pick up that weapon if you're a one-handed sword user. Yokomo has a pretty good two-handed sword. They're all, they all carry really good weapons. If I remember correctly, should be one more item right over here. A map of the depths. You should show it to Davis. Oh, before I forget, actually, I want to go back and talk to that guy. There are also side quests out in the world. Um, the reason you're seeing lag experts there is it's loading up the area. You can't go ahead on your own. If you see the wall of mist, it means it's loading the map still. It's weird, I actually haven't seen this since I started playing on PC with the new graphics card. I guess it's because I got Streamlabs running. Greetings. I have a lovely selection. As you travel around, you might find frag. I collect stuff like that. Even in the depths nearby, the loss of your headed there. I'd like you to look or remember to look at the map I like you to dig. Okay, there we go, and that gives us the quest. I will deal with the deaths. My plan is I want to deal with them pretty much. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to deal with the deaths, actually. You know, yeah, I think after I get into the city ruins, I'm going to head back and give Davis these maps.
You can actually kind of see the map loading as I'm turning corners. Expectations exceeded. That settles it. You are absolutely vital to our operation. There are more blood springs ahead, but the miasma is blocking the way forward. Do you think you could clear it for us again? I already said I would. Thank you. We know where two springs are thanks to past expeditions. Let's go have a look at them. The territory up ahead is teeming with the lost. Watch yourself. Okay, so with that, we're going to go back to home base. So, the dungeon, well, the depths, or the dungeons, are, I guess, from what I've seen, they're akin to a thing in, I forget, I think they're called the Chalice Dungeons in Bloodborne. They're optional content, you don't need to go through them. Um. Oh, hello, dog. But, um, basically what happens is you go into this whole thing, the, the, these mini-maps, you fight some re loss, you collect some keys, and you fight a boss. Yes, if you want to. This is all we've got for available. So now we've got Den of the, of the Dead and Depths of Darkness. They aren't like anything insanely hard. I think I, whenever I get one, I'm going to do them at the start or the end of an area. Just that way, so because otherwise I get over leveled for them and they become worthless for experience. Well, for I mean, um, gift experience, it's still useful for some haze. Let's see, the only thing I'm waiting on from this one is lightning stake. Okay, with that, let's see. Den of the Dead Key 2. Whenever you see one, I... We've been picking up a lot of these. You can always tell you're going to be getting a weapon or a veil from one of these. The heavy axe fortification. So it's the it's the same as the axe we already have, but it's a heavy variant. Actually, is it the same? You yeah, know, it's the heavy axe with the fortification upgrade. So it's heavier, but it deals more damage if I remember correctly. I'll just keep an eye out while you're busy. Yeah, so you can see there's a massive difference in strength, but it weighs more. Oh yeah, these are as the RV masteries. There are a bunch of them. You're gonna be finding them in there. There, it's a drug that grants the gifts tenacious fang, regardless of the user's blood code. So if you use these, you'll get a free gift. They're usually located in the depths, so keep an eye out for them. This is uh, there are a couple mini bosses you're gonna be fighting in here. They're not hard. They usually guard keys and they're used for some experience. Oh yeah, I almost missed this. Oh, it's a dagger. I don't really use them. I'm on my way. This is the depths. 
This basically serves as a tutorial dungeon, if I may be honest. It teaches you the basics of how these places work. Go ahead on your own. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna eat you. Chemical light, okay. Oh, these, so when this pops up, this is the trial of blood. These are brutal trials where enemies, usually much higher level than what appears naturally in the level, will try to kill you. But they also have really good drop rates. So I forgot this is actually a oh shit. Let's get rid of this guy. It's not done. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You have to use every tool you have, right? Let's see, I'm going to switch out the bayonet for this. I tend to use my sword, my broadswords here for 1v1 combat. And I use pole arms for when I need to fight multiple groups. Though, with the amount of weapons in this game, the play and well, finding your own playstyle, there's a lot you can do. In all honesty, and this is gonna sound like heresy to some, I like this more than Dark Souls. And no, that's not me saying, oh, Dark Souls bad or anything like that. I love Souls. But just this one, it has the same combat. Or like, bases with the, you know, the stamina system and everything. And the losing your haze, all that good stuff. The thing is, I think that makes it unique is the Blood Veil and the Blood Coat systems. And I would love to see them further developed into a sequel. I think the drain effects are really cool, and I I love this system of magic. Using um, the Icor, which it gives back attacks a bit more worth than just oh hey I deal massive damage. It's also I can boost my magic, and it'll help me later down the line. Let's see, I got everything that I want from the only thing that makes me sad is that at least on the PC on the Steam build you can't seem to pick up the pre-order bonus though on Xbox I believe you can still buy it separately I don't know about PlayStation I don't play it on the PlayStation but um the reason this makes me sad is the pre-order bonus for this game was a special code it only had one gift it was completely worthless if I'm gonna be honest that gift was self-destruct. It was mostly a gag one. But the thing that I'm sad about with this, though, is that we lost the God Eater collaboration bonus. Um, basically what happens is it adds weapons into Murasami's shop. It adds 
Soma's Great Sword from God Eater. It adds the drill spear that is used in God Eater 3. I forget the name of the character. And then finally, it adds the classic red blade that we all know from God Eater. It's, um, I can't remember her name because I don't play God Eater 1 that much. Um, one other thing I want to mention is, if you notice, Blade Dance doesn't have a bar underneath it. The reason for this is, well, to put it simply, they don't get, you can't inherit them. Certain codes are stuck, I mean, certain gifts are stuck with codes. Blade Dance can only be used by Prometheus. You really don't start seeing it heavily until late game codes, but some of the stuff that gets stuck gets kind of it gets kind of annoying i guess is a good way to say it but it makes sense it helps the code stand out and be unique where do you think this leads now that i found the two keys the den of the dead boss which that looks familiar they don't look like pushovers do they Prisoner of the Abyss fights exactly. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Call me in the back swing. Okay, there we go. I'm, I was in a bad spot there. As you get a lot of gift experience. Hell, that just immediately mastered um, Phantom Assault and um, Firestorm. This is, it's a good set of rematches. It's also a good judge to take a sort of say if you're good for the next area. The revenants who have frenzy due to bloodthirst turns dark. The bo, yeah, as bo B a boar parasite invasion worsens, the bones begin to creak and change form. Yeah, you can. So basically, the stages of turning into a lost is, um, you go into a frenzy. Um, which is sort of what was happening to us, if you notice, when we started having those black veins across our face. If that is left untreated, you will turn into a loss. Let's see. There's nothing else I really want. I don't believe I could get anyone... Because you get the codes of everyone else here over the course of the game. But seriously, even the lost are... Yeah, you, if you want it, I don't believe I you it. give me it yet. Come again. But before we do anything, see someone we don't condone everything they do either. The yeah. fact besides, Davis over there is one of the most trustworthy people I know. Go talk to him. He won't lead you astray. Yeah. So everyone here doesn't have a problem with the government. They disagree with certain things they do, but they don't see them as enemies. So with as you can see here, we can give Lewis. Let's give him the blood These bead candy. Made to taste like blood beads. Certainly better than nothing. I'll try not to bite down on them too early. And you notice we now have three trading points. But let's give him. Let's give him the. The local pennant. Hmm. I guess I'll take that. I might have a use for it later. You notice he doesn't react strongly to it. You only get one point. This looks great. I like to read all sorts of literary works. Give him this book. You like to read? 
If so, I can give you a few good recommendations. Oh, if I'm oh, cr my manners. Thank you. <laughs> For that, we now have nine. So yes, different ones, different value. Come to think of it, one of my professors, I was told they were sweet, but I never... What do you think they meant? Let's see. But yeah, if you could get 50, you could get Enduring Cris Crimson, which I really, really, really recommend. Especially if you're a one-handed sword user. Okay, the other thing I was going to do is... I'm going to skip past a little bit of the fluff dialogue. I do really recommend, though, Todd. Even the characters who don't leave home base, they're an interesting cast. And, to be honest, all of these characters in home base get development through something we've already seen, and that's memory echoes. I'll go more into that when we start having, well, memory echoes, because we only have the one for... Actually, you know what? Do I forget. Is there anything I want for the Berserk Tree? If I remember correctly, ba the balance stat determines, I believe, damage range. I don't find myself using this code. To be cautious, but... I really just do not use this code much. Let's see. As you can see, you don't a lot of my skills aren't going to be working with this one. This is very much a tank and, um, well, put bluntly, physical. Let's see, let's then swap that with that. We'll put that to good use. These are chemical lights, which, to be honest, I don't use them outside of one area. And by the time we get there, we have access to a, a really useful code that makes them obsolete. There's the ice buff gift. I'll be right there. Now we're ready. See it. <laughs> As you can see, Berserk does not right by us. have a lot. <laughs> like, uh, like Berserk deals a lot of damage, and you're a tank. But you do not have access to, like, any gifts. There's the Trial of Blood. So, granted, the thing I, and this is the other thing I like about Code Vein. Say you want to use Berserk, but then you also want a lot of gifts into it. You could use the Veil to fix the issue. Because now I have a cap of 11. Of course, this resets the minute I rest at, at a thistle, but... I mean, a missile, but... Eh, it's something. Get fucked! Yeah, Blow of Madness is actually really powerful. Though, also, the other thing I will mention, certain um, gifts do take longer to transfer than others. 
Iron Will, for example, takes a lot more work than Firestorm. This can take even longer if you're overleveled. And to the point where, like, you can actually just flat out stop earning um, gift experience. Pretty much, I, I use almost every weapon in this game. The only one I don't use really is hammers. We should be able to use that I just think they're too slow. Grant, you could kind of fix the hammer issue with a later gift. But it's usually, for me, by that point, it's like I'd rather use my swords. Okay, let's add some Icor. Now I'm not. You're in danger right as I kill him. Yeah, when you kill the Greater Law, so re uh, you kind of could see it through the footage. Well, no, you definitely see it through the footage. I recover my HP and I regain all my regeneration uses. This is to prevent, like, cross counter with bosses, if I'm going to be honest. Because I've had a boss where we cross counter and I killed him and my HP shot back up right then and there. There's a couple things that this game does differently than Souls, and it's a little bit more fair to the player, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah, again, I will say, this is still not nearly as hard as Souls, but it, it, it has its own set of challenges, mostly related to speed. Enemies are a lot faster towards later in the game. That and, like, it seems like right now I'm getting a lot of backstabs. That's just because of the enemies we're fighting. When we get into some of the more insane lost, that's not going to happen. I am correct. This is the Devour Bayonet. I love this thing. It's a really good early game weapon for casters. Because Devour increases the um, rate at which you build up. Well, increases the weapon's drain rating. If you're a caster, what I usually recommend is one weapon being focused on gift damage, the other weapon being focused on devour. This way you can use a fast weapon to refill your gauge, and then the other weapon to, preferably a bayonet if I'm going to be honest, to deal the damage. Yeah, these Greater Lost aren't normally hard. There are a couple late game that actually can be pretty challenging. See, I only got one path left. Hmm. Which way do you like? Yeah, there are certain there are enemies you can find lying on the ground. When they look suspicious like that, start swinging. Also, interesting thing, if I remember correctly, I think that shield that that um, lost has is from God Eater. Though, don't quote me on it. It just looks like one of the um, medium shields to me.
Keep in mind, I don't really actually see my God Eater shields that often because, well, I don't use shields and God Eater despite having them. I, uh, I tend to be nimble. I would actually, ooh, I could stream God Eater 3 now. Just says, sorry, I, I have all kinds of things I want to play. I would love to actually get a crew together and stream God Eater. And here's, and no, not all the bosses in here are going to be Prisoner of the Abyss. It's, this is really just an issue with this fir these first two depths. Trying to show off heavy attacks. You can charge up heavy attacks for some really big damage, though I only recommend it if you can stun the enemy. With that, I got the techniques I want from Berserk. Gonna switch over to that. So the thing I am going to get rid of is I'm going to give a blade dance for that. And with that, let's take. We got the item the guy wanted, so let's return to outer crossroads. Oh. As it loads here, it's actually going to tell you where you can get... I mean, not where you can get, but, like, some of the different... Well, it's kind of like souls. You'll get, like, a little bit of tidbits on the different, um... Blood veils, different weapons, that kind of stuff. Even ones we don't really see till late game. Um, once you find a blood veil, it does become avail... Or, and weapon, it does become available to be bought from Murasama. And you, for blood veils, you can actually buy them in different colors. Whoa. Hey, could you drag those materials up? They're quite valuable. I don't know if it's a proper thing. So. Greetings. Let's see. If you see. have any materials from the old world, I can give you valuables in exchange. Are you I am trying to remember what gift Lewis likes the most. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm pulling up the list. I have a list bookmarked of the um, things that they like. Wait, I thought it just occurred to me. Lewis's name is last name is not something new to this. Oh shit! I, I'll go into that later, actually. I think he likes this. Don't hesitate to So let's return back 
to home base. I'm going to give him this, and then I am going to go back into the city. Where is he hanging? There he is. I have stuff for you. We don't Take know, it. However, there's a medicine made from the queen's. This is only a hypothesis, but you are. My blood might be re related to the queen. Hmm. Nah, I'm oh, sure it's. This should smell pretty noxious. Are my senses failing? <coughs> Excuse me. Sixteen. He's gonna say the same thing. That's only two. Ah. Hmm. Oh, twenty. We're almost there. We need thirty more. What do you want to upgrade? I'm not gonna upgrade any of my veils. I shouldn't. I'm gonna save my stuff for now, just cause this isn't. None of this is really gear that I. I'm gonna be using too long. But uh, some of the gear I get soon is going to be some permanent gear.